So here we are. Um, we are in a session of crash landing. Uh, I'm going to be working here with Elfie and going through the first maybe little while of this game. Um, my point with bringing Elfie in here was I wanted to kind of have a discussion with him on what he thought about this as a uh, STEM type project. Uh, and the reason being is because <laughs> I'm sweating too, yeah, is because <laughs> I've played so much of this and I've started over and over so many times redesigning, rethinking, and replanning the things I've done because the first time I did it didn't work. So we've actually managed to make it through our first night even though we are sweating and almost dying because we're at 72 degrees. And we'll probably die while I finish talking about this. But uh, um, what do you think, Elfie? I mean, is this something that if, if the whole idea is for kids to find a problem, brainstorm solutions, test the solutions, and then revisit it, I mean, you're almost doing that in this kind of a map on a minute by minute, second to second basis, you know? Well, I mean, yeah, no, I think you're dead right. I mean, I've, I haven't played this myself, so I've only watched other people play it on YouTube, so I know a little bit about it. But um, what you haven't shown people is the quest book, but I think you might want to get these quests rolling. Um, so, <laughs> Since we don't, so we don't die. <laughs> so I'll show my people. Um, okay. The quest book. So if we go back oh, now wow. Some just hit me. to the start, yeah, it was the creeper exploding. So the whole idea here is this quest book um, actually puts in quests that you're able to do. Um, so Shane just completed this gathering supplies quest where he had to get flu two fluid transposers, which are the things you saw him pull off the wall here. Um, Did you so get yours? By the way, I, yeah, it's um, detected it. So okay. So I haven't claimed the reward though. Okay. Do I just do that? Yep. Go ahead and claim your reward. I just did it. I didn't know if you had to put them back for you so that you could claim it too. So. No, I've got it. So I'm going to just put water bottles in my camel pack. Is that the best way to start? Yep. Yep. So basically, I mean, obviously, we just put water bottles in our camel packs. We've read, we've watched videos. I've played this. I know to do that. But even that. I died three times the first time I played this before I realized <laughs> I was supposed to do that. So All it's right. a lot so about now, taking yeah, my, in what's around my, you and evaluating. Hydration is going back up, so I'm back up to 60%. Um, Shane just ripped off the uh, oop, the gun. <laughs> um, and I can hear so many spiders on the roof. Oh, here's the gun. I don't have any needles, though. Nice camelback. Thank you. Um, all right, so that's one issue, semi-sorted, right? So we've now got water, but um, if I have a look in my inventory, you, you can see I'm already down three quarters, uh, one quarter of the way down my, my um, water supply. So we're going to need to work out a way to get a relatively renewable water supply. Now, I think if we have a look in the quest book, this will help us get there. So the next bit is the very basics. So if I can get one dust, one bone meal, and one water bottle, we can get dirt, bone meal, and two water bottles. So that's a, a pretty good deal. We double our water for getting a bit of dust and some bone meal. Um, and I think I can sneak down here and grab some dust. Uh, can you hop me? Oh. Spawn protection's on. One sec. Ta. What do you need? I need to be up to spawn protection. Is on. Is it? Yeah, I can't dig. Oh, well. That sucks to be you then. <laughs> <laughs> well, opping you is not going to be any good. Now you got free reign to do whatever you want. <laughs> I was just going to steal that bit of dust. So, what else did we need? Bone meal. How are you going to get bone meal? Are there bones out there or have we already missed that? Well, you could come out here and check around and see if there's anything still alive, but I'm um, just trying to survive this darn thing. Now, I, I some here's arrows. something. So, speaking of, like I said, speaking of this as a STEM project or something that where you have to kind of evaluate what's around you and um, come up with a solution for a problem. And a lot of the problems are immediate. Some of them are more long-term. Um, one of the things was I came up with this entranceway. Because now when the spider's on the roof, I can actually see where they are more accurately. And they can't hit you because of And they of can't the... hit you because well, I'm... Yeah. Right. And then when I just seal this up when spiders. I'm... <laughs> and I lock you out. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no bones floating around anywhere up here. We took too long talking. Um... <laughs> 
you... so we have to wait for yeah. another night. Do you want some more dust? Have we got a? No, uh, we can't get a sieve. Sieve, can we? We do have one. Yes. Well, we've got a sieve we already. We start oh. with one. Yeah. Okay, so. so I might just gather some dust. So the other thing is there is nothing in. Well, there are cities in this world, um, custom-built cities, but as far as um, ores and everything, there is nothing. Is that pretty much right, Shane? Pretty much. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, so everything is done through sifting. Yes, yeah, so there is a, a system in place that allows you to get all the ores and things you need um, through that. So it's to actually be able to play this, I think, to, and be able to play it properly, you actually need to do quite a bit of research. Um, I know one of the YouTubers I watched did absolutely no research and just <laughs> winged it completely um, and did okay, but a lot of facepalm moments because I'd seen someone else play it who had done his research and had played Agrarian Skies so he knew how a lot of this mod pack sort of tied together and, and played so Shane I'm starting to get hungry oh okay well there's some That's... should be some beef down there somewhere or some okay. dried zombie brains or you know all those good things you get so... to eat that's sort of the second thing we need to talk about is there's actually a mod pack in here that really impacts on the way hunger works and the right. way food works. So do you want to try and explain what happens there? Yeah, so um, hunger, uh, you're probably getting a little more hungry than I am, but um, hunger happens, uh, there's depreciating value for food. So for instance, if I eat this beef jerky here, okay, um, watch the bottom of my food bar, you'll see how it's glowing kind of yellow on the far right side. It's also showing me how much this will feed me right now. If I eat one of these, you see now that the yellow bar starts, the yellow outline to my food is increasing, means it's going to be less effective the next time I eat it. And if I actually open up my inventory and hover over it, it'll tell me that I have eaten this. Uh, diminishing returns will start after eating any food 35 more times. Um, or and and so and so and it, it that becomes into play a lot more as you start playing the game because you have to not just buy one type of food like you would in Minecraft get wheat or something and continually just eat wheat uh, or sorry eat bread you actually have to come up with other ways to get other types of food a variety of food otherwise you will die <laughs> at some so point the food becomes useless <clears throat> so it's like real nutrition per se you right. need to get a different variety of right. food yeah. Um, now, we had a few creepers blow up at night. Do you know how to stop that? That's yes. an issue. It's going to hurt us every time. Um, yeah, um, so this <laughs> definitely was one of those things where my first night I sat inside of there shaking and scared, <laughs> <laughs> like everybody who plays this should be, and I realized that, oh, I was, I should have been doing something about that. You know, I should have um, been... Well, it's about to turn night, so yeah. uh, you either want to yeah. do it right now or you want to disappear. I am. You've already done it. I'm already working on it. Yeah. So. Yeah, okay. What I am working on is this is a, a this is not fire or uh, sorry this is not lava it's called pyrothium I believe. Yeah. Bla blazing or blazing something. Pyrothium. Pyrothium. Oh yes, and you see it lights up. Um, it lights the up around the it. blocks around it, and it has to be too deep above it to not light it up. So what I've done is, of course, I've blocked it in there. It's still going to light up a couple of things, but hopefully, what's not going to happen is they will continually explode overnight because as you can see they've already made a huge crater under here and oh, we better get inside. should be off yeah my briefing should be off too apparently it actually should be but i've actually played it i've been playing it just with it on i don't know okay. it has that ed extra ed advantage of uh, our challenge i guess to me but okay um, so th oh, is there food in there yes there's, so there's some wine. beef jerky mm -hmm. yeah so i'm going to take a couple of them yep go so if uh, so yeah diminishing returns yeah, okay, so I'm just having a look at that. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to have an eat or two of them. Um, and you're starting to see value. Now, one thing I have heard, uh, Shane, yes. is this will prevent it taking up all of your hunger. <clears throat> What's that? A chair? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So what, sit in it? <laughs> yep, and then sift sift that way. Ah, uh, interesting. Apparently, okay. that stops it taking up your hunger. Oh, I don't know. That's just what I. Right, right. What's that on top? Ah, oh, crafting station. Okay. 
it's all about confined spaces right now. So you know, you also have to find creative ways of putting your uh, putting your stuff in places. So so what I'm doing right okay, now is so I'm sieving, and you see that over there, there's pieces of things dropping out that Alfie's going to go right, pick up. I'll collect them. And they're the um, different ores we need, and stuff. So what are we needing? We need bone meal. We need as much, uh, well, we need bone meal, but we also need as much um, stones as possible. Actually, we need 24 stones to make a okay. oven. Okay, so we definitely need, we've got one dust bone meal, and I've got a water yeah. bottle. So we can turn that in as soon as I get bone meal, and I can turn that in right now. Okay. So if I now hit manual submit, so I've got dust, bone meal, and a water bottle, then I can claim the reward. And Shane can also claim the reward from right. his end as well. Right. Which is a um, setting that you you know you could you can do in here. Either you get individual rewards or only one of you can reclaim it. But since there's two of us in here trying to live on the same resource, we figured we'd uh, give ourselves a uh, break. <laughs> top up my camelback. Have you topped up yours? I have not. So, uh, you see the quests that are blinking are the ones I can do, and then you have the ones that are purple are the ones that I've already done, so I can claim that reward as Elfie has already claimed this one too. So I'll get dirt, bone meal, and water bottles. So, so now we need we need a supply of stone, obviously. Yes. And oh, there's an egg. That's got to be a win. Food, any kind of food is a is a win for sure. But um, um, and we also need saplings. So I think there's a quest for a sapling, isn't there, from memory? Yes. Well, actually, no. There's um, now's when we have to make a choice. Are we going to go through this hard? <laughs> Are we going to go through uh. this easy? <laughs> so. Um, well, the easy one is only going. Oh no, because we both claim that. Okay, so the hard, easy one is going to provide us with a shell constructor, which is our extra life, or not doesn't immediately provide us with an extra life, but it provides us a way to become extra life. Two right. saplings, two types of saplings, some extra ammo, a stack of bone meal, and some food. The hard mode provides you with one stack of one thing of ammo eight bone meal and a spruce tree and a birch tree but nothing else which is the way when i played it in, in a single mode i played it the hard way but i don't know <laughs> i was also very very careful when it was doing things so <laughs> um so so basically we now need to work out which way we want to go exactly so in terms of solving a problem here how are we going to go about it what's right I mean, what are the pros and cons? Is that what is that sort of things you wanted to talk about? So Pretty we've much. got an option in front of us. Right. We've got a task. Mm -hmm. How do we go about making sure the task we do fulfills the requirements for A, that task, and B, long-term survival of this map? Right, right. So, um, like I said, I played it hard and wrote, and I've survived quite a while so I could actually give myself, you know, a, a compound I was safe in, and I could produce things and stuff. So it's not overly um, brutally hard, I guess. We're not going to spend a lot of time diving if we are careful. There are a couple of times I went into the red, though, with my my temperature and my um, my uh, thirst. But um, with two of us, I'm guessing we could do everything twice as fast. <laughs> In theory. <laughs> In theory, yes. So my vote is to do the hard route, and only because uh -huh. it will provide us with more of those challenges and more of those... Um, Problem solving, critical thinking type activities. Yep. No, I'm, you know, I'm happy. So. I've seen someone play it hard and only die a couple of times so far. So, uh... okay, I manually sub Oh wait, I need dust. <laughs> Save me one of those dust there if you can. Throw one over here. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Manual submit it. I forgot this mod pack had the um, give you the. Like, if you run out of something in your inventory, it'll just give you another stack of it, if you've got it. Yes, 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 yes. So I yep. sc scrolled over to my next stack of dust. <laughs> the, um, the, I can't remember what that's, that's the inventory tweaks, I believe. Inventory tweaks, yeah, it sounds yeah. about right. So I'm doing fine on temperature, I'm doing fine on water. I assume I'm doing fine on food, because I'm sitting down doing nothing. <laughs> uh, Again, jeez. <laughs> it's what I spend my life doing, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So, they so to what's the next order of business? The next order of business is to create a dirty water bottle. So, this is okay. one way to provide. So, again, water is of value. And, of course, you know, I'm sure there's people watching going, hmm, he's got a water source right over there. Why doesn't he drink it? If we were to use our empty water bottles and go into that water source, we would actually get salt water which would then, of course, dehydrate us. So 
uh, not a good thing. So but what you I can get rid of that in a furnace, but you lose the bottle. You lose the uh, well. No, you you're if you so for instance, okay, right now, I'm going to. Did I do that correctly? Wait, what the quest actually says to I need to get a dirty water bottle. A dirty water bottle is made. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, by putting. I thought it was dirt, and, dirt and water. I thought together. it was just dirt and water. No, it's just dirt and an empty it was bottle. Dirt and an empty bottle. That's what it is. Okay, there we go. Dirty water bottle. So now I have one. We can submit that one manually. Submit. Okay. Claim the reward. That'll get us dirt and an extra water bottle. Always good. Okay, so we actually come out good there. Yep. Now the next one. It has been suggested the purified. Oh, sorry, not purified water. Um, There's an invisible spider out there. <laughs> Is there a really little spider out there? That's not good. Now ask me how I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> it's invisible. <laughs> um, the next one says that, you know, you should, we're supposed to create our stove and boil this dirty water to then make a clean, fresh, or clean water, just regular water yep. bottle. But I'm actually what going to submit, fuel? well, right now I have got nothing. <laughs> and we haven't planted right. any trees. So what I'm going to do is use up one of my water bottles manually submit this because it gives me back a cold water bottle anyway but those cold water bottles don't go in the camelbacks no the cold water bottles will kind of take you from a really low temperature and bring you back up to normal real fast but they don't really stick. high temperature yeah. yeah oh yeah sorry really high temperature yes. that's right. that's right. um i think my backpack's getting full here let me try to dump some of this stuff in here Oh, we have 26 stones. Excellent. So well, I've got five here, so... I'm going to dump these and actually make our, our furnace. So, uh, as soon as I get rid of this. Oh, we have some string, some redstone. Now, do I need to keep any dust for anything? Have we got enough dust out there uh, for... Nope, we're going to have... <laughs> <laughs> I think the entire planet is made of dust, so we'll be okay. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make a slab furnace. Again, Alfie and I have played uh, this now game. why? <laughs> We know oh, the reason I'm making a slab furnace is because I only need six pieces of stone, cobblestone to make that. If I was going to make a regular furnace, I would need eight. So there, right there is a, a decision. If somebody was doing the research on the wiki page, for the Minecraft wiki page is what I'm suggesting. Oh, there I can see I can see the invisible <laughs> spiders are in the corner <laughs> of my eye here. Um, you can see the two different f types of furnaces, which, again, has me believing that this is something where if kids are having to research better ways to survive. I, I just think that it's got so many great components to it, you know, and, and yes, I can already hear somebody saying, yeah, but there's monsters out there and they're going to try to kill the kids and the kids may die and yes, you're right. I can't deny that. They are going to probably perish at some point, but it's not the perishing that's the, that's the problem. It's the, what decisions well, could you have made right yeah and that's that's sort of like prototyping i mean you're prototyping a method right. of survival okay yeah. it didn't work what went wrong right 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 and you and isn't that and you're like, dying is basically your prototype dying right not yes. you personally i mean that's yeah. right so to me so i just think that's awesome problem solving yeah. and and i mean we've been talking a lot about steam lately mm -hmm. um and the the what's that the loop thing you showed me ages oh, the ago design process yeah design yeah. process design so and engineering you, process. You, you find a problem so go through that again you f you define the problem yep and then we uh, brainstorm plan. and then yep. select a solution from your brainstorming yep and then you build a model of it or you model it test it and then you reflect and redesign okay so it's it's now morning so we yes. probably should so we can start doing this now we can actually right. gonna have to go out here and clean around our uh so if you want to grab the gun you can shoot things and i'll try to beat them with my uh <laughs> again uh, someone's gun. gonna get upset with that but i'm just how do know, i load the gun um the first time you right click to shoot it it'll say oh, yeah. put Got your it. ammo yep. in here okay okay here comes creeper coming to visit you oh and by the way uh friendly fire is on Oh no! <laughs> and I'm dead. <laughs> Great backup there, buddy. <laughs> hey, you hit me about four times. Don't start with me. So, can you respawn? Let's see. Nope. It says you cannot respawn in hardcore mode. Leave server. <laughs> I'm being kicked out. So that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's Game our over first for episode for me. Yep. Right. First and last. <laughs> All right. So. so 
Let's um, talk about it. I mean, that's yeah. the whole process here. Now, I'm on my own. I have no idea where to go from here. <laughs> but <luck>. um, <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, I, I will, I will stop no, here and we'll yeah. restart, won't we? Right. Yes, definitely. So yeah, let's but... let's talk about that. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna keep in the recording here. Okay. Um, and you can just talk over a blank screen. So well, what are we going to do for next time? That's all I can see. Because <laughs> oh, you're dead, right? Yeah. So you're here. So, um, <laughs> you know, okay, here's a perfect opportunity. So first thing we talked about, well, the reason I died. Let's look at that, okay? Because someone's going to yep. say, yeah, but see, now you're dead. Now it's no fun for the kids. The team can just start over. I'm I'm kind of in my head playing with this, whether the student does it single uh, Holy, multiplayer, small teams, small teams even, because yeah. this will this map will take up to twenty students, you know, which is is pretty awesome. Um, but anyway, I, I, well, okay. Well, how how small, how big of a team are you talking? Let's let's start there. Well, like because I couldn't see this being more than four to five per team. I can yeah. see it getting really painful, painful with chaotic, more than four and... to five people, um, and a case of too many chiefs. Yes, yes, yes. Really? Yeah. Um, and honestly, it would have to be a really good set of kids to achieve that, I think. Yeah. In I'm honestly opinion. thinking two, to be honest, two to four at most. Yep. Um, okay. And then my room is set up kind of like that where it works out really well. I think two would be optimal because you're, again, too many cooks in the kitchen, right? Yeah. And in, in, in initially trying to – I could even see running this twice. First time with pairs. The second time with all four of them maybe, you know, and seeing how that goes. Um, because it, each of them is going to have their own solutions for certain things, and when they get together as a single team that crash landed on this planet, imagine the kind of power that they could have with powerful discussions they could have, you know. And and of course, they'd have to do these discussions awfully fast because you could be dead any second, <laughs> you know, uh, well, as you I was. Could be. <laughs> well, I could oh, be apparently, fine. yes. But okay, so like we were just talking about, here's a great thing where um, we both wanted to go out the door, right? Clearly, we should have had some type of an attack plan for coming out there. You know what I mean? Like, we shouldn't both have gone out there because I'm hitting you, you're hitting me. And then, of course, the spider comes along and we're dead or I'm dead, right? Well, that's the other thing. See, I, so, I wasn't aware of or right. not so much aware of the one white spiders. The, oh, right. Okay. Yes, yes, you know, yes. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. know of, like, this door would be safe for normal Minecraft spiders, but right. that mini spider... Like, just I, ran I mean, right through, yeah. Just yeah. ran right through, mm -hmm. you know, and then you said, and it was quite, quite oh, here comes a creeper for you, and I'm thinking, well, <laughs> why are you backing up? He's going to come straight in the door, but there was no time to actually yell at you about that. Right. So, I mean, how are we going to prevent that happening next time? Are we going to have two exits? Are we going to have... Are we going to have to discuss a plan prior because that seems right. like a waste of time and or water mm -hmm. and or hunger? I mean, right. so let's talk about how we go from here. Well, um, okay, so in my own my own single-player game, for instance, uh, one of the things that we didn't do that we should have in the beginning or we, we should have tried to do was actually planting a tree because, and then, of course, well, what, yeah, so what, you plant a tree. But planting the tree would have given us wood we yes. would have been able to create a door. Yes, but we only um, just got the sapling that night. So that's that was right. my plan for today, was to go and do that. Right. So all of that stuff that we've accomplished so far today, or in the, the two days, I guess, that we played, yep. I accomplished well, alone yeah. in the first 10 minutes before nighttime even hit. Not only okay. that, I was also able to create a one-wide barrier around my building uh, in, a, in a fairly, basically an outline of a fort, that caused them to not have as many things come be able to get directly to me. Okay. You know, all so right. those types of things. And, and that's, that's, of course, us coordinating, right? I mean, yeah, one of us right. could be so building that while the other one's sealing up that pyrothium and, and, and getting some dust. dust stuff and, like yeah, that. exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, then. So w how much dust did you come away with from that night? Let's talk about actual nitty-gritties here. Um, because my focus was to click, get that pyrothium, I knew of, about the pyrothium. I was trying to clear that up. I only came yep. out with 20 dust. Okay, because so. I came out with almost three stacks. Okay. Now, yep. I had about half a stack left over. So, realistically, to keep us going all night, mm -hmm. two stacks. Right. Each of us, right. Have, yeah, yeah. No, yep. no, two stacks full stop. So, right. if we take into account, do you want to build up a barrier or do you want to dig down a barrier? Okay. around the front of our base here. Right. And I think if you dig down a barrier, then you're gathering dust and getting your barrier. Exactly, yep. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so one of us could be doing that while the other one seals up the, 
Pyrotheum and submits quests. Right. Yeah. What yeah. are your thoughts? Sounds good. I mean, we both have to get the first one done so we get our camel packs. But after that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, as I'm playing through, I believe that the four bottles should be enough to last you the 24 hours. Or, okay. Or in, in a Minecraft game. I mean, yeah, a full day. Yeah, full, full, full day. Full day, 20 minutes or whatever of game time. So. Yep. Okay. Um, so that's another design thing. So, for instance, me figuring that out was how much water did I have to produce each day to keep myself hydrated? Well, you if know, I'm... Of course, yeah, the more I'm work you do, the more, you know, the more you're going to sweat. Yeah, but yeah, in, on average, also. yeah, on yeah. average, it was about a, uh, four bottles a day I was going through. So, here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm above. I mean, I'm my my white dot for temperature is in the green, but yes. my black dots, like the ambient temperature, is in the yellow. Yes. Right during yes. the day and down in the green at night. So how do we maintain a cooler daytime temperature? Is okay. there a way we can do that? Um, there are ways. Uh, one of the ways, of course, is through armors. The armors act differently in here. The other right. is to reduce the amount of heat sources around you. So, for instance, this furnace that I just placed over here in this corner, yeah, once that thing. thing starts going, you're actually going to start getting into the orange if you stand near it. Okay. Um, right. The other thing is if you have a heat source on your action bar and put it in your hand, it'll increase your heat. Those lights that you see above you, uh, you see the little road blocks with the lights, those provide different levels of heat versus if you were in the dark. Of course, if you're in the dark, something could spawn near you. <laughs> Are these? So, oh, okay. So those actually cause heat. Um, okay. You know, so it, it, it's really something where... Um, but is that a priority? Let's talk about priorities there. Is it a priority? I think not. The priority right not now okay. is, of course, to get some water. And of course, what we didn't run into, like I, I'm looking at my bar right now. I can still see my bars. I was at half health. <clears throat> How much food did we actually have? Yeah. Right? I've, so that would have been yep. our next emergency, right? So. It's food. Okay. Yeah. So right now, I, I think the first is to see a pyrothium up. Get some quests. We'll obviously get our water packs first. Seal the promothium up. Uh, provide some type of a, even if it's just a one block high initial barrier around okay. the space yep. that we want to call ours, and then planting trees and collecting dust. Those are that's All the right. goal for the first ten minutes before we lock ourselves in for the night. Okay. All right. 